Hello, everybody, and welcome to Wonderful Wednesday. It's, I'm amazed I'm here, really. And yeah, I do have the wild fawn hair today. Um, <clears throat> welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, I know I'm frazzled, but it's been a long day, and I didn't even think I'd be here, but I'm here, and I've got tons of cards. We got to get going, because tonight is Survivor Night, and I got to be on the TV at eight o'clock to watch my favorite show, the only show I watch on TV. So now it was a mouthful. How are you guys doing on a wonderful Wednesday? I hope everybody's doing and being just as wonderful as they can be. Now, the first deck I start with is Dreams of Gaia. I clarify them with the Ocean of Tarot. Uh, today is 410 of 2024, which is a 22, which is a master number. It doubles in power, so it's a good number. It's a good day to be a 22, I guess. Uh, we got the, we've been getting a lot of fire, everybody. And you guys know that we, we've got some fire going on and some blockages. And we got the seven of fire reversed. We've been getting a lot of reverse cards. And, you know, this is a good card. I love her. She's got her beautiful golden felines. Her hair is just all fire. The butterfly is like, Covering her third eye, she's got the lotus flower, the snake, and she's she's got her throat chakra. She's like, she needs to speak. Heed your intuition, a feeling of recognition, inexplainable coincidences, moments that reap, repeat. Personal interpretation is crucial. Only you know the answer. Look beyond the surface, observe, and be aware. Uh, there's a lot of interesting things that are going on uh, today, especially and every day. So we are going to read the blockage on this card. Definition means to foretell or predict the future. Sometimes our intuition guides us and at other times it is a simple awareness born of observation and paying attention. At other times, it is a marriage of both. Every day we are given signs that, if heeded, can reveal what is to come. The seven of fire reversed represents a need to watch for those signs and heed the insight they offer. Observe the people around you. Look closely at patterns of behavior that repeat and pay attention to words spoken that lack mirror, mirroring in action. Take note of promises broken, overreactions to question, and inability to meet the eyes, and laughter that seems forced or contri contrived. They are all indications that there is more going on. Learn to watch, learn to listen, heed what you, your observations and senses are telling you. If you have a tendency to dismiss them, don't. Don't ignore them. If your gut tells you something is not as it seems, then look beyond the surface and see what is truly there and then address it. The reverse seven of fire cautions you against being dis dismissive. Pay attention, look, observe, discern the truth, address the con contradictions and inconsistencies. See the signs, even the ones that might seem a little obscure and insignificant. They may foretell a future that is not in accordance with your goals. That was a good interpretation for today because I've seen things like that that's going on. A lot of people are seeing the truth come out. This is the great awakening, not just for the cabal, not just for the government, and but it's for all of us. We are going to see things that we've never seen before. We're going to realize that there's truth out there that we never seen before. We will see it now. The veil will be lifted. Cards and coffee. What could be better than cards and coffee with my soul family? Now, the clarifier for that is the Ace of Wands. And we've been getting the Ace of Wands a lot. Ace of Wands is growth. Um, when you see the truth revealed, then you'll start your growth situation. You'll be able to grow once you're releasing yourself from the sabotage of what you didn't see and now you do see. 
Step into your power, invent, talk, and create. Whatever you say now will be well received. You're crowned with success under the influence of this creative ace. As new projects, work, ideas, and travel plans take off, you're able to communicate well now to share your vision and persuade others to get on side. If you've been wondering if your plans will succeed, this card tells you yes. Listen to your intuition will also strengthen your spiritual beliefs. An additional meaning is fertility and pregnancy and beginning a new journey or adventure. We're all going to be on a new journey and a new adventure. Uh, things are going to be unfolding for all of us. We will see people that we never thought were bad. We will see the bad of them. And the people we thought were bad, we'll see the good of them. So we'll, we'll see a lot of things that we didn't have the right perception of. We will, the perception will get into view. Uh, the next card we got was the three of water and the three of water. And now this is, that is Trinity. That's the Trinity of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, which I feel is the mother, father, and son. Uh, and it is a divine message. You see how she's flowing in the water. She's usually flowing, celebrating victories and taking satisfaction from your endeavors. Look to the future with anticipation. Your success will continue. A rewarding outcome, an exciting future, free yourself of unrealistic expectations, allow the outcome to manifest freely. The three of water reversed appears in order to caution us against weighing down a potential outcome with the burden of our expectations. Make sure your hopes and desires are realistic and let go of those that are not. Free yourself of the binding nature and weight of unrealistic expectations. And in doing so, allow the outcome you seek to manifest in its own way and time. Remember, the more you expect, the more disappointed you will be if the future you hope for does not unfold as you imagine. Um, I think what these cards are trying to tell us is get ready. Uh, we have to see the realist. We see, we have to see it. And, you know, if you're that see it, the believe it person, you have to open your eyes to the fact that things might not be as what you think they are, but they will show themselves. Uh, we got the 10 of pentacles uh, with that as a clarifier, and that's luck. Good luck is coming. Appreciate the special bonds you share as a group and the love that comes with commitment. This is celebration, a windfall or other unexpected financial bonuses. Appreciate the stability that this brings. A family gathering is on the cards too. The unusual irritations disappear and you feel the love and support of relatives or the close friends you treat as family. In relationships, the card predicts families being joined to love by love. Feelings are declared and commitment follows. A couple moves in together and or announces their wedding. Yeah, that's family celebrations. It's good luck. We have some things still going on in the outside world that doesn't make sense to a lot of us. Try, turn this light on, see if I did. Oh, uh, no, that's... Woo. Uh, I don't have a lot of light in my fifth wheel camper and it's towards the evening. It's like uh, seven o'clock here. So we're starting to get dark and yeah, there's not great light unless I want to be, be beaming. Um, those are really good cards, but we have to take into effect what these cards have been telling us. Now, when you come in, uh, we've been manifesting. We've been playing a manifestation game. Uh, we need to work with our manifestation try hit the magic like button we call it the magic manifestation button hit the like button do a manifestation think about something that's significant you want in your life and practice with it there's a reason why i'm telling you to practice manifestation because we're going to need that they are going to let us know that we can manifest but we've got to start doing it i think that we've been working on it I'm, i've been working on it great uh things are just flowing into me um we've been saying we need a washer Today, we were just gifted a washer. Well, brand, it's going to be brand new. Um, we've said a lot of things. My husband said he wanted to see his mother. She came today. They're out visiting each other right now. We just, I just left them. Um, it was a beautiful reunion. They haven't seen each other in five years. So there's things that you might want that you're just thinking about. Let's manifest it. 
keep saying it. We've been saying it out loud. Saying it out loud puts it out in the energy field. So come back. I read all the comments. They're absolutely beautiful. I love my soul family. And I love people that are just visiting the channel. You might not, you might not connect with me. I, I get it. I might not be on the right frequency for you. I get it. It's okay. Um, there's a lot of people I meet that I'm not on their frequency. And then there's a lot of people I meet that it's just like, wow, we click, you know, people that you wouldn't even think you click with, but you click. Uh We've got to do these things. And I'm also offering a free reading monthly. I'm going to try it this month, see if it works out. Put your name, your first name, your, your month you were born and the day you were born. That's all I need. I just need to be able to tell out if there's two patties, I need to know which one I'm drawing. At the end of the month, my husband's going to draw a name. We're going to put all the names in uh, the magic hat and we're going to draw a name. And that is the person that will win a free reading with me i will record the reading just like i do here i will we will exchange emails and i will send them an email they'll be able to keep the reading so that's my gift to my favorite beautiful people so where are we i wanted to cover that before i forget because my mind's on survivor right now we just got done eating i just come home i said my husband dropped me off go visit with your mom i'm gonna do a reading real quick and then i'm gonna watch survivor so it's my wednesday night to kick my feet up and hoot and holler for Survivor. And if you don't like it, that's okay. You don't have to like it. It's just something I've always watched since it's been on. And I've watched every episode, even if I didn't really care for where they were. But I watched it just because I love the competitions. Okay, now, the last card of the Dreams of Gaia is the choice. Zero, zero out. Choice, options, opportunity, free will, self-determination, mindfulness, manifestation, cause and effect, reward, consequences, procrastination. Choices create reality. Belief is a choice. Inaction is a choice. The choice is yours. Determine your direction. The past has influences. Choice offers reward or consequences. Weigh your options. Choose wisely. Stop procrastinating. Be responsible for your choices and aware awareness and powers now this came in the future position so i am going to read the future position this was the last card in the dreams of gaia for every action there is an equal reaction for every choice you make and then act upon or do not act upon there will be a direct or indirect reward or consequence the choice card in the future position asks that you, you practice mindfulness even when making spontaneous decisions what will your choice bring into your life have you considered the potential consequences or only the potential rewards have you taken the time to weigh your options and take into account the potential impacts of your decision and the reality that a choice cannot be unmade your choice have the power to open and close doors build bridges and burn them could your decision have potential consequences that you have not considered? Could you choose bring about the ending of friendships or marriage, the loss of your job or worse, when a different choice could bring abundance and delight, regardless of the choice before you? Take time to consider the future ramifications of your decisions and actions and choose in a way that brings change of your own design and making. The direction you take now will lead you to your future. See and weigh up your options, determine your directions, and look to the potential, consequences, and rewards. And consider the impact your choice, your choices may have. Decide whether those choices are worth the cost and whether they, they will bring forth a future that is in harmony with your intentions and desires. Yeah, you've got, you know, I love this card because if you look at it, there's three doors, actually. There's there's a woman crying. There's a woman that looks like she's seen a ghost. And there's three doors. And this looks like darkness. Okay. And this looks like light. But I think your intuition would actually tell you which door to go in if you used it. So, uh... The clarifier that we got with choices, 
was the eight of cups change. We get change all the time. You know why? Because we are going through change. Whether we want to or not, we're going through change. It is time to take your leave. And this is exactly the right time to move on. You may have already left a relationship, home or job or other commitments at an emotional level. So there's little drama or moral struggle to contend with as you say a quiet goodbye. You're ready for change. The card can also reveal a journey or change of scene, such as going on vacation or taking short trips away. Follow your heart and go forward. Yeah, we need to follow our heart now. We got a lot of, for some unknown reason, the tarot wanted to keep coming out. And I, I get that sometimes uh, because I use them as clarifiers. But if they keep coming out and I keep sensing they need to, I keep going. You guys know me, a card flies out, it's there, it needs to be seen. So now after the Eight of Cups, we got the Ten of Swords. And this is endings. Because we are, we're going through change, but we're going through endings. We've been getting this card a lot too. And we got a lot of tens today. We've been getting a lot of ones the 10 as the final number of a card sword is summon, summoning up an ending, usually involving some degree of drama. This can come as a shock or as a relief. As you see the situation or relationship for what it is or was, it cannot develop, <laughs> develop or grow. It does tell the truth and helps you to see what needs to be released. Walk away and let go. Focus on the present rather than dwell on the past. Complete release, drama, transformation, victimhood, truth, and shock. I think we're all going to get a shock and awe when whatever comes out, comes out. Oh, my dogs are chasing. They, um, my one dog has a totem lizard that they bond with. He stares at him at the tree. The other two have lizards that they want to bond with, too, and they want to beat up off the tree. So... um. Okay, then we got the page, after the endings, we've got the page of pentacles, which is opportunity, because we will have, it'll be like opportunity out there everywhere when this, we come to the ending of this cycle. The shift is going to bring on so much creation, so much beauty, we won't even know what to do with ourselves. So the page of, print of pentacles brings news about finance, work, and education. While the page does not represent this money alone, he brings you hope that your wish will be granted. An additional meaning of the page is a pending job offer or if you are trying to sell a property or move, that this will happen soon, providing you pay attention to the paperwork. Look out for offers regarding property and work. There's good opportunity on the horizon, but the diligence check all contracts carefully. Money messages, communication, work, luck, confidence, optimism. We've been getting that a lot, and you want to check contracts very thoroughly. Uh, in this day and age, as they say, we don't want to trust uh, the circumstances that are there. We also got, after our opportunity, we got success. So when we get out of this bumpy, ripply turn of events the way the world is we're going to have the endings we're going to have the opportunity and we are going to have the success because right now we're in a holding spot we're in a awakening the great awakening so we are all going to uh progress and be better the six brings brilliant success as a result of hard work and resilience others will appreciate your shining light and you may receive special acknowledgement for your work attending a presentation, graduation ceremony, or prize giving, for example. You may also receive a financial reward to help you celebrate. An additional meaning of the card is an offer of love. From a new romance to a proposal of marriage, this is your time to shine. So don't hold back. You deserve every success. Yeah, we're, we're just got to hang on and keep the light going because we have to get that positive energy out because we are all energy the more positive we get out the quicker we can get the crumb bombs out of our way and get our life going now uh 
the next one we got was the another three, which is another divine number, and it's abundance. So we got endings. Let's see, we got change. We got choice, change, endings, opportunity, success, abundance. Tell me we're not going to better. We just got to get out of this. We got to get into this together. We got to get out of this together for our abundance. The Queen of Ocean. The Oceanic Queen is the partner of Cart of the King of Ocean, an oceanic teacher. She is the embodiment of feminine power and fertility. She understands the rhythm of nature and lives in harmony and comfort. Her left palm is open to receive the blessings of life, while her right hand, which holds her scepter, offers love unconditionally. As a mother to a child, glowing with light, the crystal scepter signifies healing, nurturing, and love, while the pearls round her arm and wrist significantly signifying wisdom. It's kind of dark here, so I really need a better light, but I'll make it. The Queen of Ocean is the mother card of the tarot, bringing happiness and abundance. She predicts contentment loving partner, family, and comfort, and reassures you that you need your needs will be taken care of. If you have suffered financial setback recently, money will flow again. Old feuds will be forgotten and harmony rules at home. An additional meaning is spiritual growth, emotional stability, and creativity. The queen also favors fertility, pregnancy, and children. As a person, she is the female partner, mother, or mother figure. It's time to grow and evolve. Enjoy and invest time in your relationship, your home, your spiritual practice, and new creative projects. Yeah, we have some amazing things happening, people. We've just got to really hold that light up. We got the full last card, new beginnings. Yes, this has told us everything, really. I've been telling you this for a long time. New beginnings, you are on the brink of a new path in life, and a wonderful opportunity awaits. Now is the time to follow your destiny in work and in relationship. Before you follow your heart's desire, pay attention to two things. Be practical and check that your dream is tangible and realistic and listen to your intuition, which, like the dolphin, will safely guide you forward. Keep the focus on your goals rather than be distracted by others' opinions and needs. This is your time to reinvent yourself and there's a bright future ahead in an exciting new territory. The fool can also show a physical journey over land or sea. Look before you leap, and if you like what you see, dive right in. That is where we're going, and I can't tell you enough. I've already seen it. Now, I, I got to tell you guys real quick about a dream I had last night, and it makes no sense to me. I'm still trying to figure it out. I can't remember the whole dream, but in this dream, I had a bleach blonde i mean like bleach blonde wig on why i don't know and my face right here was painted kind of like a clown like a blue color and i was trying to get somebody's attention i was trying to talk to somebody like via the phone or something and i did talk to him and i don't remember anything about it but i don't like clowns so why my hair was platinum blonde and it was a wig because I have long hair and it my face was painted like blue, which blue means like blue, like I'm blue. I don't know. I don't know what that was all about, but I'm kind of keeping it in the back of my mind because I don't remember the whole thing. But it was the weirdest dream I think I've had in a long, long time. So I'll just keep it there in my little own space and try to figure out what the hell it was. Maybe something will happen like that. Hopefully not. But it could. We got a 28, which is another 10. We got like, I don't know, like four or five tens and zeros and all kinds of stuff today. We got two zeros. The fool and the um, choices was a zero. So we're supposed to really, when you manifest and meditate, you should zero the world out. So you should zero your mind out of thoughts and let everything flow into you, into your heart space for answers. That's the hardest part of meditation is taking yourself out of the everyday 3D thought pattern and taking yourself higher by deleting everything there 
and not thinking about anything and just letting the the thoughts of what is coming through source or mother or ancestors or angel guides or what your higher self whatever if we don't zero our thoughts out and quit thinking everything about the 3d life we won't hear the messages coming through so that's a very important thing now this is 28 true to you lilac magic <sighs> sorry i've been busy 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 for the last couple of days have the courage to walk your own path be true to yourself and reveal the real you authenticity is your greatest gift even even if the cost seems high your entire world within you and many aspects to your personality and your heart like everyone you show a slightly different side by yourself to all those you know playing up some aspects of yourself with one person playing down others with someone else and that's fine you don't have to reveal all of yourself to everyone or spill your secrets to a casual acquaintance. But for real love and trust to grow, for relationships and friendships to have depth and meaning, you can't hide the deepest part of your personality, your principles, or your heart. You can't pretend away the things that have the most meaning to you and dim your light to get acceptance. Or deny the beliefs that are central to your very being. And this applies just as much to your relationship with yourself as with anyone else. This card is calling you to connect with your inner heart and be sure you are honoring your deepest, most authentic self. Are you hiding a vital part of you from the world and from yourself? Pretending to be someone else to impress another it can seem harmless at first to let things slide, to bury an aspect of yourself, to skip over things that are important to you so as not to offend or upset someone, but it is not harmless. You pay a huge price when you hide your true self or sacrifice what means a lot to you in order to keep the peace or avoid discomfort. And you miss out on the joy and beauty of having someone embrace you for all your complexities and depth shadow and light the experience of having someone love each and every part of you it can be challenging at times to walk a different path from those around you but if you have the courage to take a start you'll attract people who will appreciate you for who you really are into your life their validation will give you confidence as you let your soul soar shining your joy and light to the world Right now, there is an area of your life in which it is time for you to walk your own path. Perhaps there's a new career option within your current job or elsewhere that you're ready to embrace. There may be a new cause, hobby, friend, interest, or opportunity, something that will require you to step forward on your own. Or perhaps it's time to draw a line in the sand with someone and refuse to play the role they've cast you in a role you've outgrown or one you never wanted to play at all this doesn't mean you have to leave everything behind you sacrifice relationships or turn your back on anyone but it does it does mean that if there's something you're really drawn to something that fires up your soul and calls to you you'll need to gather your courage and begin on your own Others may follow or not. That's not important. All that matters is that you take this chance and dare to forge ahead. It may be lonely at times, but it will be worth it for your heart, mind, body, and spirit. And in walking your path, you will also inspire others, leaving a trail of breadcrumbs so they can find their own way in the future. That is a beautiful card, and that is a great message for us. Okay, we've got 45 minutes till Survivor, so I got to move on this. And by the way, we are supposed to be, now I want you to think of this. We are supposed to be service to others, not service to self. So remember this. We are working on self. Self is very important to learn how to manifest, learn how to heal, learn how to create, learn how to do everything we're supposed to, okay? the right way but if you have a lot of money 
a windfall. <clears throat> Say you have no children. You have nobody to leave it to. And you're just sitting at home, sitting on your money, counting, buying stuff, bored with your life. Go help somebody. You'd be surprised. Just little things. I mean, you don't have to go broke with it. It could be a dollar. It could be a $5 meal, a loaf of bread, jelly, and peanut butter, and a, a bottle of water. I mean, and you will feel so much better. Get out and mingle with people and learn people's stories and let them learn you. If you're lonely and you're, you're, you're rich, or even if you're lonely and you're poor, go out and be in the world. It's a great place to be. Now, we've got the Soul Helper Oracle. Have the courage to be free. Know that freedom begins when desire ends. And it's another 28. We've had 28, 28, and I think we got another 28, which is 10, 10, 10. So something's up with the 10. Keep an eye out for the 10. I think that's, and the zero. We had two zeros for sure, and we never really have that many. Okay, look how beautiful and golden she is in the fall, swinging as free as she can be on her swing. Woo, doesn't that look like a breath of fresh air? What does freedom mean to you? Where do you think it lies? Do you think it can be found in money, power, recognition, or enlightenment? Freedom comes when desire ceases. Freedom exists only in the present. You cannot plan for it or save it in a freedom piggy bank to make use of later. Live in the moment and live freely. Freedom is wherever you happen to be. Look around you and seek it out. Invite it in right now into a moment that is full of potential, including the chance of freedom. Be open to it and use that freedom sometimes to be, behave a little irrational or rashly and perhaps increasingly often. Every now and then it will give you the courage to pick yourself up and smile to yourself at the idea of acting responsible without wishing in, in any way to denigrate or disregard common sense. Since freedom is magnonious and can be for accept everything with ease. When you are free in your own self, you are at one with your life purpose. You feel bound to nothing and to no one. It is only then that everything will flow through you freely and that the perfect light of great potential will find its way to you unchallenged. To be free means to love everything without wishing to understand, without asking for meaning or reward. What will you do? Hear your soul ask softly, what do you desire? And when you have found your answer, be sure to act upon it and learn that freedom can only be found on the path of truth. Your helpers for the next 21 days, the power animals, the lynx, the herbal essence is silver fur. The healing crystal is the Apache tear, and number is one. Number one tells you that you are a magician priestess and that now and then you require solitude in order to fully develop the capabilities within you. You need solitude now in particular in order to receive your visions from a spiritual teacher. Clearly and without compromise, number one promises success and a deep bond of the heart. It will teach you to feel the moment of creation within you and to perceive yourself as a spiritual being. Its energy field is the beginning, the absolute being, the sum of all possibilities in the pure spirit of the subtle world. I like that card. And yeah, she looks pretty darn free, doesn't she? Now, we've got the messenger oracle. And we got some interesting cards. We got respect your boundaries with a pink dragon and green. And you know what? We have to find, I want you to take a piece of paper or a tablet. And I want you to write down things that you feel are boundaries for you. And set up boundaries. We all need boundaries. I think that's a great idea for us. Respect your boundaries. Others will not respect the emotional boundaries that you set within your relationship if you do not respect them yourself. Know yourself, love yourself. If you do not 
accord yourself the same care you desire from others, then you will not be shown care. If you do not honor your own truths and dreams, then nobody else will. Honor yourself by treating yourself with the same care and in the same manner that you wish others to treat you. Yeah, treat others as you would want to be treated. We, we all know that. Oh, it's 722. That's an 11. That's a power number. Okay, and we also got reveal your truth. Everything tonight has been about revealing your truth. Our truth. When you were born, your soul shone bright. As you grew, you were taught of right and wrong. You were taught how to think, how to live, how to believe in a way that makes you fearful to say no. To disagree is to risk alienation from family and society. And so you hide your true thoughts and feelings behind a mask. That mask hides your light. Cast it aside, embrace and live your truth and let your soul shine once more. Uh, I hate to tell everybody, but what do I say at every end of every reading? Be yourself. If you can't be yourself, then you're around the wrong people. Because you don't want to transform to be somebody else because you are not them. And if you do that, then you're not unique. You took your uniqueness away and blended in to the crowd. I don't want to do that. Here the, here are the ancient ones. The indigenous people of the world are those who have lived in harmony with the land for countless generations. Among them are the elders whose knowledge and wisdom can teach us of our relationship with nature, of living a life of em empathetic awareness and to better understand our role as caretaker of earth. They can reach us, ca they can teach us the wisdom of taking only what we need, of wasting little and honoring all sacrifices made so that you may live and grow. Hear the wisdom of the ancient ones. Learn from their knowledge, lore, and traditions. Yeah, I agree with that because they are the ones who have the knowledge and they have leveled up in this world. We don't want to take them for granted. I think we're going to make it. It's 725 and I've got, yeah, I think I'm going to make it. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, today was a challenge. I said to my husband, I don't think I'm going to get this reading done. But I did. I worked it. I always work you guys in. We got the elder. Healing through the lineage. Uh, everything's been saying elder today. Uh, elder and the truth. Uh, set yourself free and be your, your truth. Uh, if you're being anything but your truth, then you're not being you. Your ancient ancestors' guides rather gather around you at this time. Great healing is unfolding and carving a newfound freedom for your lineage. The First Nations people of Austra Australia are the oldest tribal people still living on the planet. Their historic hunter-gatherer culture and ancient spirituality are rooted in tradition and balance with the earth. This card is in honor of them as sacred earth protectors and the living embodiment of tradition. The elder is the ancestor who comes with a message of healing change. He is an embodied soul, yet he has had journeys that go beyond the physical. Therefore, he represents a recl re reclamation of power. When he appears, it's an acknowledgement that you have the capacity to move beyond the limitations that have been placed upon you. If you have had expectations of success, failure, sadness, or even sickness placed upon you by your family, it's important to know that you are here to create your own story. This card represents personal healing that will bring healing to your family lineage, past, present, and future. The freedom you claim is healing that love, lovingly support or supports your entire family's constellation. Um, I think it's time for us to heal the family lineage. We've been trying to be like our family members and our ancestors for so long that we lose ourselves in their traditions. And we need to hold fast to a few traditions, but we need to not lose ourselves and be unique in our own way. We got the moon, take note of intuitive messages. And I do have to say about the moon real quick. I watched a lot of pictures 
of the uh, eclipse, and none of them were the same. And this guy says, I don't know how every sky can be completely different on the eclipse when some of us are looking at the same sky. And uh, I said to my husband, I took a picture of the moon in broad daylight, like three days before the eclipse. It was like a half a moon. And that was the last day we've seen the moon. I took a picture of it. We haven't seen a moon since. I go over our neighbors every night and I come home about 10, 1030 at night. And when I'm walking over, I'm looking up. I see all the stars everywhere. There's no moon. So people are like, there was no moon going in front of the eclipse. So whatever that was, I think it was CERN doing something from switzerland okay use your intuition practice discernment see through illusion and blockages yeah the the solar eclipse was an illusion the moon is strongly associated with the divine feminine and the energy of receiving if the sun is a teacher and the moon is a teacher and so they offer us the powerful energy of polarity and balance she has a cycle energy and is therefore strongly connected to emotions, which often come and go in waves and to somewhat interesting behaviors. So when the moon appears in a reading, you are often being told that not everything is as it seems. The moon has a dark side, just dark, not negative, and can show you what you've been kept in the dark about. Isn't that interesting? How I just said, I don't think it was an eclipse and it's just saying not everything is as it seems. <laughs> Uh, lunar energies are surrounding your life, allowing you to understand what is standing in your way. Not everything is as it seems, and you're being guided to use your discernment. When the moon appears, intuitive and psychic urges are increased. So take note of any feelings arising at this time. They are messages from your soul and angels. The moon shines her light on all that has been kept in the dark. So ask yourself if you are avoiding anything or refusing to deal with something of importance. If so, it could be holding you in the shadows when your destiny is to be in the light. If this card appears when you feel someone isn't being completely real with you, know that their intentions will be revealed to you. The moon has no secrets. She reveals all. I bet. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to hear about that uh, fake solar eclipse real soon and what they were up to. We've got the eagle, see from a higher perspective. Look at things from a different angle, fly higher and see new possibilities. In angel medicine, both Native and American and Celtic, the eagle draws its power and strength from the sun. It is a powerful, strong and courageous guide which is able to see for miles. It approaches all things with intelligence, grace and poise and has the capacity to make a plan from a higher space before putting it into action. When the Eagle card appears in a reading, it shows that you have a real ability to take things higher. Oh God, I swore I seen somebody walking right there. Whew, my heart just dropped. I literally, I seen somebody in like a white t-shirt. There's nothing out there. That is so weird because my dog's been sitting out there since my husband left. They just come in and I seen this like guy in a white t-shirt walking by the window and there's nobody there. Okay. My heart just dropped literally. <laughs> ah, seeing all kinds of stuff. Let me tell you. Okay. Where was I? It approaches all things with intelligence, grace, and poise, and has the capacity to make a plan from a higher space before putting it into action. When the eagle card appears in a reading, it shows that you have a real ability to take things higher and to move beyond the limitations of your ego and your selfish desire. Eagle medicine swirls around you, encouraging you to recognize that your views or visions may be limited at this time. Is there a chance that your own desperation needs or ego could be blocking you from seeing the potential in your current situation? If there are other people involved, you are being guided to see things from everyone's perspective. If you are feeling the need for something to change, how can you take the higher road? Know that if you have intentions that aren't for the highest good, it will only hold you back. Eagle medicine can help you change 
this. The eagle brings the energy of healing and love directly from the heart of Father Sky and invites you to do all things from a place of love. We just got Father Sky the other day because I said I really liked that card. Hey, I'm going to make it. Okay. See, that's how special I think you guys are. I did my reading thinking I might miss a few minutes of Survivor. Okay. We're going to do the Divine Master. And we got the Saint Germain, Violet, Violet Flame, Alchemy, Release the Old, Make Way for the New. And Saint Germain was the one that was that gave the gold to the people and the wealth. So I'm I'm wondering why we got him. We got the abundance. We got the success. We got all kinds of stuff tonight. The Count of Saint Germain was an 18th century European adventurer and alchemist. During his life on Earth, it is said that he rubbed shoulders with some of the most elite members of European society, but his background was shrouded in mystery. He was acknowledged to be a man of miracles because he was a noted alchemist and magician and apparently never aged. He claimed to be over 500 years old, though most likely this was a joke. He was, no he was known for giving public demonstrations of magic, illusion, and tele tel telepathy and was probably a member of the Rosicrucian order. Rumor has it that even though he moved in highly influential circles, he probably felt like an outsider because he was an illegitimate child. Thus, from the heavenly realms, he helps those who call on him to find their place in the world. He is also associated with a spiritual energy called the violet flame, which can be invoked to aid transformation. You are in a powerful vortex of transmutation and change. The violet flame of transformation is with you. And all that has felt heavy, overwhelming, and dark is being transformed into opportunities for growth and freedom. Past dramas and traumas are now being cleared from your energy. And if you are concerned about how to move forward, know that willingness is enough and the universe will take care of the rest. Surrender and release the old, the past, and all that no longer serves you. In order for the new to, to enter your life, you must make the energy space to welcome it in. Know that what has happened to you will never define you and that you have the ability to surmount all that has held you back. This is a time of alchem alchemy where you take that fe feels where you take what feels like lead and turn it in. Yeah, I can read tonight. Now I'm having a hard time seeing because it's so dark in here. This is a time of alchem alchemy where you take what feels like lead and turn it into gold, or in your case, health, wealth, and loving connections with others. Yeah. We are going to have transform. We are going to have the healing. I am manifesting the healing for the world, and we will have the healing technology, the frequency. Astral realm, ancestral realm, karmic release, healing, and lineage boundaries we boy we've got to get those boundaries written down everybody in every incarnation we have been blessed to be a part of a lineage that helps us live our life and embark on learning experiences and for hundreds and even thousands of years those who have walked the earth before us have prayed for a better life we are an answer to those prayers even though they may no longer be on the physical plane our ancestors are living through our choices and experiences. None of our ancestors had it perfect. After all, they were human too. They made poor choices. They had mis they made mistakes. They had mistaken views. Many of their intentions were honorable. Many were not. All of this is held within the ancestral lineage. As are many beliefs, ideas, and limitations that are outdated, fear-based, and even harmful, all these karmic energies can hold us back. But when someone decides to walk the spiritual path, whether they realize it or not, their life becomes an, an answer to their ancestors' prayers. When this card comes to you, your life is an answer to a great ancestral call. Yeah. This card initiates healing on all levels, but particularly the family line. There may be some ideas and beliefs in your family that you find limiting or negative. Know that they need not be 
your truth. You have the opportunity to go beyond the challenging energies of your family lineage. If you are in a particular challenging time or facing energies that are harsh and even overwhelming, the energy of your ancestors is with you now. They are here to hold a sacred space so that you can rest. Your ancestors are surrounding you now. They are here to seek forgiveness for any harmful decisions that were made without full awareness and for any negative effects those are having on you now. If you have found that a particular family member has been difficult or a relationship has been negatively impacted because of situations or ideas that stem from the past, know that a great cleansing is taking place at this time. The anointed for the wound is the energy of forgiveness. This isn't about accepting what happened as fine but realizing that the energies of the past no longer govern your presence. It's about choosing to create your own happiness and live from your own heart. Keep your boundaries strong, but be open to carving out a new path. Yeah, that was a great message. I think I got bit by a mosquito. Again. I just seen him flying around me. Okay, we've got the Human Spirit Oracle. Last one. I've got 20 minutes till my show's on Okay, number 10, got another 10, another one. Road less traveled. Look at her, she's got roads everywhere. Beep, beep. Are you stuck in traffic trying to go the same way as everyone else? Traveling at the same speed, which is stop and go. Trying to take the road less traveled. You will be surprised how this road will lead you to undiscovered parts of yourself and help you find the most authentic you rather than being in the same lane or fast lane trying to follow the social norm or the shortcut. It is important to know the side street and back roads of you because sometimes for scenery is new and alluring. The new path helping you find wonderful new avenues of you and who you truly are. Trust me when you feel like you do not recognize or like yourself. It is usually because you are not being who you truly are. And somewhere inside your authentic self is just trying to set off a rescue flare. Pay attention to the signal and make a turn off to your road less traveled. Trust us. We are here for individual experiences, human road trips, perhaps pack a lunch and take your time during the journey. I like that. That was a great message. Uh, I'm still channeling those messages. I haven't finished and I'm not ready to release them. And you guys are lucky. You've got a wonderful Wednesday reading. So I'm going to get going and I love you all. Remember, hit the magic manifestation button, put your first name, your date of birth, your month and day down there so you can get into the free uh, reading for next month. And that's about it. I love everybody. May every step in your journey be magical. And guess what? Just be you.